in this exam it is more about uh, if you have a basic level of mental acumen and you have a right strategy and you have the ability to stick to that strategy mm. then you are already among uh, under two, uh, under 2000 top candidates mm. so after that it depends upon your intellect and uh, perseverance so agar aap consistently 6 se 8 ghante if you have if, if you do not have any base so i, I believe ke static portion aap 3 mahine mein 6 se 8 ghante mein do bar you can cover it hi everyone my name is anuj jindal welcome to my channel today i have bhavesh with me who has cleared rbi grade b 2020 21 examination and as you can see and you can figure out he's a very young lad uh, he's only 25 he's cleared his uh, or passed out from his college very recently so kafi acha ek outlook milega yahan par because whatever interviews we normally take are of upsc aspirants jo ki 5 6 saal ke struggle ke baad they normally clear rbi so this is going to be interesting first of all bhavesh uh, you're already working uh, in an yes. organization so uh, kaisa laga when you got to see the result and when when you saw that you got selected in rbi what was the first feeling that you had uh, it was kind of overwhelming because uh, mai already uh, 2019 ka attempt kar chuka hu uh, that time i could not clear pre uh, so ये मेरे लिए ऑलरेडी तीन साल से ऑलमोस्ट मैं प्रिपेयर कर रहा था इसके लिए एंड कंसिडरिंग द हाई लेवल ऑफ कंपटीशन यू कैन नेवर बी श्योर अबाउट एंड आल्सो ड्यू टू रिसेंटली डिस्क्रिप्टिव पार्ट इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ एंड इंटरव्यू सो यू कैन नेवर से दैट बाय श्योरिटी दैट हाँ मैं हो सकता है मेरा सिलेक्शन सो डेफिनेटली इट वॉज वेरी ग्रेट फीलिंग एंड इट आई फेल्ट एट दैट मोमेंट दैट all my years of preparation uh, have come to uh, have become fruitful finally yeah 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 so uh, before moving forward can you introduce a little bit about yourself kab graduation kiya uske baad what has been your journey since 2017 thoda sa uske bare mein bata sakte ho yes uh, so uh, maine 2017 mein bcom honors uh, se graduate uh, graduation kiya tha from bhopal i am basically from mp so uske baad maine ssc cgl ek exam hoti hai uh, us uh, wo cgl 17 ke liye apply kiya tha and finally process jo uh, extend hote hote delays ke baad 2020 mein meri joining aayi as an excise inspector सेंट्रल जीएसटी एंड एक्साइज इंस्पेक्टर सो मैंने 15 अक्टूबर 2020 में ज्वाइन किया था सो so ऑलमोस्ट एक साल हो uh, अभी 10-11 महीने हो चुके हैं एंड ट्वेंटी एट नाइनटीन का मैंने अटेम्प्ट uh, दिया था आरबीआई का फॉर दैट आल्सो आई हेड प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स टू सेवन मंथ्स बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट टाइम आई कुड नॉट क्लियर प्री बिकॉज ऑफ सम रॉन्ग स्ट्रेटेजीज Uh, but after that i started to uh, i uh, realize my mistake and uh, started preparing more for it and uh, eventually already jab maine join kiya tha to us time pe already uh, mera base already formed tha mujhe sirf revise karna tha so that part uh, became helpful ke despite being uh, in a full time job i was able to uh, prepare for it uh, in a right manner so because you're talking about uh, you know spending so much time on first of all preparing in 2019 then revising your strategy yeah. changing your strategy so agar koi student aaj taiyari start karta hai let's assume according to you according to a very rational uh, you know understanding of how how much needs to be covered how many times you need to revise kitna samay kitna time how 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 much time is required to be confident with all the subjects ओके सो लिविंग असाइड सम जीनियसस कुछ लोग तो होंगे जो इसको बहुत ही कम टाइम में कर लेंगे बट अगर एक रैशनल नॉर्मल कैंडिडेट की बात की जाए तो आई फील के अगर आप इवन इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इफ यू हैव नो नॉलेज ऑफ ईएसआई फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट एंड यू आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच सो यू नीड टू डिवोट एटलीस्ट यू नीड टू स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग 6 मंथ्स अर्ली एंड यू नीड टू डिवोट एटलीस्ट 6 टू 8 आवर्स Hmm. if you can do that continuously see basically what i believe is in this exam it is more about uh, if you have a basic level of mental acumen and you have a right strategy and you have the ability to stick to that strategy 
then you are already among uh, under two, uh, under 2000 top candidates hmm. so after that it depends upon your intellect and uh, perseverance so agar aap consistently 6 se 8 ghante if you have if, if you do not have any base so i, I believe ki static portion aap 3 mahine mein 6 se 8 ghante mein do bar you can cover it Hmm. and after that you can go for uh, you can revise uh, whatever you have read and you can also do the current affairs portion and other portions uh, and if you have some uh, base already you have already prepared for it uh, or you have some basic idea about it so even 4 uh, hours every day for 6 months is sufficient i believe uh, that gives you a fair chance yes 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 so uh, you mentioned about the static part and the current part i want to bring out a very important point here and i hope that you believe in the same thing ki static or current ko kis tarah se prepare karna chahiye did you follow any specific strategy dividing static and current uh, yes static uh, so basically static ke liye i maine kuch courses uh, uh, purchase kiye the and through that i prepared and uh, for current also there are some compilations uh, uh, that are available in those courses but uh, other than that specifically due to the changes made this year i would uh, uh, recommend everyone to read newspapers Uh, at least uh, to some extent uh, you do not need uh, it's not necessary that you read it in full detail but mm. even for 15 to 20 minutes per day uh, mm. if you can see the headlines and uh, figure out what is more important you can read the basic details so that would be very uh, helpful for your preparation other than that we can divide uh, uh, the esi portion uh, uh, i would like to break it and uh, break it out a bit so the static portion that is the most important other than that we have reports for reports i would say that before notification you need to figure out you need to analyze from the previous exam previous year exams that you need uh, before notification you need to read only the most important reports like sdg index or human development index or some niti aayog reports so you need to figure out that which reports are necessary and after the notification has been uh, released after that you have to read even the lesser important reports also because they can come in uh, pre also and mains also mm. other than that there is a uh, there is a portion of government schemes mm. now this is this has been particularly very difficult uh, area for me and i believe for every candidate because mm. uh, there is no limit to it it's limitless uh, there are uh, countless numbers of schemes mm. so what i would recommend is since the return on investment is very low in this area so you should stick to only the major schemes of uh, pre 2014 and after 2014 only the important schemes mm. uh, so you need to be very selective before 2014 mm. and after 2014 you need to uh, i would say do some 50 60 schemes and if it is possible try doing it via mcqs because uh, that helps in retention a bit and uh, other than that uh, any other current affairs like the notifications or any other news that uh, uh, about uh, banking and finance so this is how i would break this and uh, i would also uh, other than that for the descriptive portion uh, it has become quite important now to practice because last time uh, in the notification we got to know about uh, the change in the pattern but uh, for the next year we already know in advance that uh, we have to take a descriptive paper and it has a high uh, high weightage uh, uh, now 50 50 marks in the esi and fm and english is also descriptive so uh i would recommend everyone to uh, do some uh, some practice uh, specifically it is uh, you have to type it on a keyboard so do some practice for that also and also uh, use some timer and uh, uh, try to write answer then in that limited uh, time span so that uh, you do not go blank during the ex- uh, during the exam because mm-hmm. it is it uh, can be quite difficult to recall the important points or the content during the exam so you need to practice for that at first uh, so this is something and other than that uh, uh, i uh, one more thing that i would uh, like to emphasize more is since uh, i got out in pre in 2019 mm-hmm. so i all uh, i had prepared for mains and my major focus was on mains but i got out in pre itself mm-hmm. so do not your audio your audio yes now it's fine now it's fine yes okay please go ahead yes uh, 
yes so uh, do not take any uh, phase of this exam in a light manner mm. or uh, with or it's again now it's fine okay. yes okay uh, with uh, less preparation hmm. so you need to have right strategy for every uh, phase of this examination hmm. uh, and uh, for uh, pre specifically i uh, what i did was uh, attempt as many mocks as possible because uh, hmm. i already had uh, uh, some base in the areas uh, in english reasoning and maths uh, due to uh, ssc cgl right. so i did not have to prepare much uh, for that i hmm. just uh, attempted mock and that was uh, it for me that was it for you okay uh, uh phase 1 or phase 2 ki major major uh, story to bata di hai and i believe yes. that summarizes majority of the things that are required yes, yes you also have a background in bcom you've done bcom honors to finance and man management must have been easier yes uh, a lot of students the mistake that they make and i want to clarify this through you ho sakta hai hum same page pe ho is that they लेट से मैं आज प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट करता हूं बिकॉज आई फील दैट करंट अफेयर्स इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज एवरीबडी फील सो जस्ट लाइक यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंस इंस्टेड ऑफ कवरिंग द सिलेबस फर्स्ट आई एंड अप गेटिंग इन टू द एंडलेस साइकिल ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स और तीन महीने बाद चार महीने बाद रियलाइज होता है सिलेबस तो करा नहीं जहां से डिस्क्रिप्टिव पार्ट काफी मेजर मेजर आता है एंड आई गॉट स्टक इन करंट अफेयर्स विच इज अवर एंडिंग प्रोसेस इट कम्स एवरी डे did yes. you did you focus on covering the static part first or at least simultaneously along with your current affairs how did you manage these two things yes uh, it's, is it's there an interruption again okay. now it's fine now it's fine i think it's due to notifications hmm. so सो uh, so, जो आपने बात बोली बिल्कुल सही है कि फर्स्ट फर्स्ट हमारा प्रेफरेंस तो स्टैटिक को ही होना चाहिए बिकॉज करंट कीप्स ऑन रोटेटिंग एंड मेजरली करंट अफेयर्स आता है जो नोटिफिक थ्री मंथ्स बिफोर द एग्जाम और सिक्स मंथ्स बिफोर द एग्जाम टू बी एक्सट्रीमली श्योर अबाउट दैट तो हमें पहले स्टैटिक पोर्शन को एटलीस्ट अगर दो बार हम रिवाइज कर लेते हैं we hmm. do it one time and then revise it another time hmm. so in that we uh, have uh, a solid fundamental for us which can be helpful in mains as well as interview because uh, if you are going to enter in, into this exam you cannot go with uh, half cooked knowledge of uh, the basic finance and management and economic and social issues so that is the primary uh, area that you need to focus on and after that uh, current should be done if you have limited time then you can do it simultaneously but first preference should be to complete the uh, to completely cover the uh, static portion हम्म नाउ दिस टाइम डिस्क्रिप्टिव वाज अ न्यू एडिशन एंड यू आर नॉट अ यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट तो तुम्हारी वो प्रैक्टिस भी नहीं होगी हाउ डिड यू डील विद दिस चेंज हाउ डिड यू यू मेंशन की प्रैक्टिस किया था बट स्पेसिफिकली कैन यू टॉक अबाउट हाउ डिड यू डील विद दिस चेंज एंड हाउ डिड यू प्रैक्टिस फॉर इट और प्रिपेयर फॉर इट यस एक ये एरिया जब हम नोटिफिकेशन रिलीज हुआ था तो आई रिमेंबर कि एवरीवन गॉट थिंग्स गॉट अ बिट एवरीवन गॉट अ बिट वरिड के ये तो अब यूपीएससी कैंडिडेट्स को एडवांटेज हो जाएगा एंड हम कैसे करेंगे डिस्क्रिप्टिव बट आई वाज प्रिटी क्लियर अबाउट इट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट के दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी हैव बीन डूइंग सिंस वी वर अ चाइल्ड uh mm. throughout our school examinations and college examination descriptive was the uh, descript we gave descriptive question uh, attempted descriptive question answers we shifted to objective papers after college or uh, in some competitive examinations so uh, to take it as something new ki ye to bahut ekdam ajeeb si cheez ho jayegi hum apni puri life yahi karte aaye hain so there is no need to fear from that uh, it depends on how your comprehension skills are how your writing skills are uh, so basically agar aapka uh, you have good uh, uh, hold over uh, how you write your descriptive answers uh, from your school or college uh, so uh, that would help in this examination also mm. but uh, since up time hai candidates ke paas so i would recommend ki wo thoda usko 
ये चीज को पहले दिमाग से निकाल दें कि यूपीएससी के एस्पेरेंट्स के साथ कोई उनको बेनिफिट मिल जाएगा या कुछ बिकॉज यूपीएससी एस्पायरेंट्स हमें ये भी सोचना है कि स्पेसिफिकली जो आरबीआई के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं दे आल्सो हैव एडेड एडवांटेज ऑफ नॉलेज बिकॉज यूपीएससी एस्पायरेंट्स बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट्स को पढ़ते हैं बट hmm. आरबीआई का कैंडिडेट स्पेसिफिकली सिर्फ इन्हीं एरिया को टारगेट करेगा सो आर कंटेंट देर इज हाई चांस दैट आर कंटेंट माइट भी बेटर देन दम Hmm. so uh, this comparison should not be made hmm. and uh, you need uh, everyone needs to have confidence that we yes uh, we are, we are not doing this for the first time hmm. uh, and uh, other than that you can also practice and specifically like on keyboard if someone is not comfortable with that hmm. so that would definitely help and uh, as i recommended with a timer on so hmm. that you can recall points in time hmm. so bhavesh uh, you mentioned that we have been doing it Uh, our entire life and yes. uh, sticking to the basics is very important here this is yes. a very important point that i want to bring out through you so i want to confirm it with you and ask you hum log ek bahut badi mistake karte hain as aspirants a lot of students make this mistake we expect or we have this notion that rbi is looking for something extraordinary in the aspirants to hum ek bahut extraordinary out of the world answer likhna hai only then we will get good marks rather than writing academic rather than writing basic answers jaise hum college mein likha karte the we move to something which is not required we move to writing answers which are not the actual definition of answers itself right yes right so what did you do did you stick to the basics if yes what are those basics yes uh, i uh, stick to the basics and uh, because yahan pe ye samajhne ki zarurat hai ki examiner kya chahta hai humse ya fir jo bhi usko answer ko read karega see they do not want long paragraphs of uh, high, uh, very difficult uh, words or uh, uh, high level of vocabulary hmm. what they want is uh, they want to know ki aap us question ke bare mein sare important points jante hain ya nahi so hmm. what i tried to do is write uh, right, uh, right answers in points hmm. make keep it short hmm. ensure that all important uh, things are covered in that answer and hmm. if possible uh, supplement it with some examples uh, hmm. that would be very great uh, other than that uh, no there is no need to write some uh, very uh, difficult words you need to keep it just simple you need to uh, just ensure that you have covered all the points and you yeah now it's back yes yes, yes. and uh, you need to ensure that you can cover all the points and the examiner or whoever check is going to examine that uh, answer knows that okay this person knows a, uh, a lot of stuff about this exactly exactly to so basic se stick karna hai that does the job yes right yes yes moving to the interview part because i think it is very relevant uh, you have a small amount of experience plus you're very young recently passed out from college not a long time teen char saal hue hain what kind yes. of questions did you face around this in the interview and how did you tackle them yes so basically uh, interview uh, this time there were three panels so uh, the things became a bit arbitrary arbitrary because some uh, in some interviews as i read the transcripts also yes. in some interviews they went too technical and uh, too deep in banking and finance or in the work profile right uh, for me it was not that that much technical they did mm. not go much deeper mm. they uh, they stuck to the basic areas like some questions about my work profile mm. some questions about, uh, that were uh, related to my personality or characteristics mm. uh, and other than that some basic questions of uh, finance and economy and banking related areas mm. uh, so it was uh, it was a moderate level of interview i would say and uh, the key was to stay confident be professional there uh, it is not necessary that you can uh, that you answer every question or you can provide the definition of everything every term in a perfect uh, manner but uh, you need to uh, be professional about it you need to uh, show them that yes you uh, you do have that uh, requisite level of knowledge and you possess that confidence that uh, you are uh, worthy of being selected uh, in this organization hmm to hamesha i think teeno hi levels pe the gist is that we have to stick to the basics 
ज्यादा हीरो बनने की कोशिश करोगे तो कुछ ना कुछ गलत होगा अक्षय कुमार नहीं बनना है सारे स्टेजेस में यू हैव टू बी नॉर्मल ओमपुरी टाइप भी काम करोगे दैट विल आल्सो वर्क राइट यस यस राइट ओके वेरी नाइस एनीथिंग स्पेशल दैट यू वुड वांट टू शेयर विद द एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू राइट इट दिस ईयर एनीथिंग आउट ऑफ योर योर ओन एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू वुड वांट टू से यस सो दो तीन चीजें जो मैंने पहले भी कहा कि किसी भी फेस को यहाँ पर लाइटली मत लीजिए देर इज अ वेरी हाई लेवल ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन सो वन मिस्टेक एंड यू आर आउट ऑफ द रेस सो टेक एवरी फेस इन द मोस्ट सीरियस वे दैट यू कैन अदर देन दैट वन स्पेसिफिक रिकमेंडेशन वुड बी टू स्टिक टू योर सोर्सेस वंस यू हैव फिक्स्ड योर सोर्सेस because uh, when the notification would release suddenly there would be a flood of new content mm-hmm. you would see that okay this new list of okay and or yes. uh, this new or this new uh, pdf of uh, government schemes has come or this topic has come uh, so uh, do not get distracted by that stick to mm-hmm. the uh, content that you have already followed and revise that only have confidence in that content other than that uh, see we all are giving uh, these interviews so that the candidates uh, have a better idea of this exam but uh, one important thing that i re- i feel is every candidate should analyze the previous year question papers by themselves also because once you read that you start realizing that what is important and what is not बिकॉज जब मैंने एग्जाम के लिए ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन में स्टार्ट किया था Uh, specifically because abhi uh, result kali release hua hai and uh, i am witnessing that uh, kai candidates who already kuch uh, ke attempts bahut ho chuke hain do teen attempts char attempts ho chuke hain and uh, obviously everyone is rejected those who, uh, who could not make it through this list and there is a discussion about whether uh, how much uh, big factor luck is or how arbitrary the process has become and uh, there are discussions uh, like that so definitely it is uh, very normal to feel dejected at this point if you have not made it through the list but uh, i would not deny that luck has no uh, at, uh, no role at all in this process mm-hmm. definitely luck has a big role but uh, i can ensure one thing that there is no candidate who has got selected just on the basis of pure luck mm-hmm. so other uh, you pray to god that okay uh, it's your day and you make it to the, uh, to the list but you also need to work hard you need to work on whatever uh, areas you were weak or where you made mistakes and you need to be the best version version of yourself hmm. that is the best that, that you can do so that would be my advice to everyone who has not made it this year and uh, those who are going to try for the next year also Mm-hmm. I think you have said it very well. Luck is probably only one percent. Ninety-nine percent is your hard work and your smart yes. work. More important yes, than that. Right. So yes. I witness a lot of students, uh, and I can say that I have been one among them in my past who worked hard, who was probably not smart enough to realize that our mistake is where we made. Let's rectify this mistake and go back and strike again in the examination. So we keep repeating the same mistakes. We end up. You know, doing the same blunders, bar bar interview right. तक पहुँचते हैं, but वो एक दो number का gap रहता है, and that is our right. our that is that is because of something wrong that we are doing as an aspirant, right? right. So you have made it because you realized in 2019 that okay, these are the mistakes I'm making. Let me rectify these mistakes, and that has That's resulted right. in this. A lot of aspirants yes, right. who don't get through, कहीं ना कहीं कुछ ना कुछ गलती होती है. Right. Uh, very nice to talk with you. Any uh, anything. towards the end that you would want to share with the aspirants uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> i would try to pretty much cover it uh, <laughs> but uh, just i would like to they make it through the exam next year and uh, prepare hard for it and uh, uh, do smart work as you say i said and uh, as i said that 
have a right plan and stick to that plan that is more important than even having a right plan right so i hope every, uh, all the deserved candidates also get selected uh, next year all the best bhavesh it was very nice uh, talking to you i think uh, Same, i had yeah. i had i had a lovely time talking with you and uh, you're certainly yeah. going to have a very bright future in thank RBI. you so much keep learning thank you so keep, much keep uh, growing i think you're going to do wonders thank you thank you so much